smashed everything. Just throw your own iPad down. <laughs> right guys, we tried a bit of the toilet paper challenge. <laughs> Dog dad had a few shockers, you know how it is. But today, we're going to stick to what we know and we're going to be going through every single Premier League club and talking about their most underrated player. Are you looking forward to it? I can't wait and thank you to everyone for the suggestions on Instagram. But what's the like target today? Oh, the like target today is 5,750. I reckon we can hit that. Everyone's at home, yeah. everyone's self advised We're bringing the entertainment to your screens. Yeah. <laughs> in return, a like would mean the world. Shall we start in alphabetical order with Arsenal? Let's do that. And okay. who have you gone for, Theo? I'll let you go first. A lot of people said Leno, the goalkeeper. But you know what? I've gone with Bukayo Saka. Ooh. His performances in Europe have been stunning. What is it? Two goals, four assists, yeah. six games. Yeah, unbelievable, yeah. So this is the player of the future. Now, I would have agreed with you with Saka, but this is a video about the most underrated players. I think Saka has had a hype around him ever since he's had a very good season. There will be haters for the choice that I've made, but I've gone for Squadron Mustafi, the centre-back that has received loads and loads of stick over the years, but under Arteta, yeah. he's actually been quite good. Now, the man has no one rates him. So to put him in the, this underrated category makes sense. Yeah. And he's actually been all right lately. A controversial choice. It's controversial. Let us know in the comments. Do you agree? Do you disagree? Now, moving on to Aston Villa. And I've yeah. gone for a, a right back called Frederick Gwilbert. This is more of a fan choice. Okay. They like his hard work, his consistency, particularly against the big teams. Yeah. Well, I've gone for John McGinn. Um, right. He's currently been injured. Scottish box-to-box -box midfielder. Loves to get stuck in. But then again, he also loves to be involved in the goals and get assists. Grealish is great, but he can't carry the whole team. So to have that other quality player in their team like John McGinn, and when United are trying to slap in 50 million bids, you yeah. know he's got something special about him. Moving on to Bournemouth, and I've got a bit of a problem with Bournemouth. What? Because I think the thogged out army there is not strong. Well, I don't think they have many fans in general, really. Because I asked people, who is your most underrated player, and no Bournemouth fans responded. So I've gone for a young lad, centre forward, called Sam Surridge. He's got 30 career goals. I think he's only 21 years old. Come on, Eddie Howe, give the lad a chance. I've gone for Fraser, another Scottish lad, pretty underrated, very good player. Arsenal had interest last summer, so clearly he's got some tech about him. Shall we move on to Brighton? And this is one team where I think we have to agree, Theo. Okay. Um, it's the centre-back Lewis Dunk. Ooh. Now, rated by Brighton fans as better than Tyrone Mings. He doesn't receive the respect he deserves. Yeah. He's such a good quality centre-back. He should be really be spoken of as that England centre-back partnership with Maguire. He's yes. quality. He gets stuck in. He's been there since the championship. He keeps up with the level of football. He's Premier League quality. He's hard. He's Lewis Dunk. It's not just our opinions. He's got the fifth most passes in the Premier League this season yeah. and the seventh most touches. Now moving on to Burnley. Yep. Uh, you've got to go for a defender here. Do you? Uh, well, I think so, yes. I think most of the Burnley team's underrated. That is a very good point, Theo. But I'm going for a centre-back called Ben Mee. Mm. Now, I'm going to read out his, some of his stats. Okay. Third most blocks in the Premier League this season and the third most clearances. He's at the heart of an incredibly good defensive unit. Yeah, true. Good character, good work rate. I agree. I think that's a very good choice, although I haven't gone with him. Yeah. I actually went for Chris Wood. And arguably, you could say the whole Burnley team, but yes. Chris Wood, the big man up top, knows where the goal is, got 12 goals a season, thrives under the gaffer. Very interesting. Yeah. Now, moving on to London and to Chelsea, and I've gone with a right-back called Cesar as Piliqueta. Okay. And thank you to Lucas Brown here for his comments. Week in, week out is always a 7 out of 10. Yeah. He's someone who can play left back, right back, centre back. You know, this is a very versatile, hard working player. He's been at the club 10 years. He's the captain. He's El Capitano. Yeah. When we're talking about underrated players, there's no one else you can give it to because he doesn't actually get the respect he deserves. So Absolutely. I agree with you, Thog Dad. And he's got the fifth most touches in the Premier League this wow. season. Okay, moving on to Crystal Palace. Palace, yep. and I've gone for the goalkeeper. Have you? Vicente Guaita. Okay. Now, he's a 33-year-old Spaniard who came on a free transfer six years ago from Getafe. Yeah. And what a shift he's done. Now, this season, he's got nine clean sheets. That's brilliant. And that is the fifth best in the Premier League. He concedes about a goal a game. But for Crystal Palace, that's really good. Absolutely. And he's a big part of that team. He doesn't get the respect he deserves. He's actually, statistically, the best goalkeeper in the league when it comes Ooh, to saves. Yeah. That is a little thog den fact for you. He is also my most underrated player for Palace. Absolutely. 88 saves this season. How important Brilliant. is that? Moving on to Everton. 
and I've gone for a £7 million buy okay. from Wigan. Who's that? 18 years ago. What the hell? Leighton Baines. Oh, of course. 35 years old, yeah? Underrated? He doesn't well, even play in the team. Underrated, because when he plays in the team, when he comes onto that Didn't pitch, start? age 35, he puts in a brilliant shift. Dad, I, I disagree, you know. I was thinking about saying Holgate because he always gives it 100%. Yeah. But I ended up going with Dominic Calvert-Lewin because ever since Marco Silva walked, he's been quality. He's got 12 goals a season. He's even got a couple of assists. He's just a really good player. And I agree that he's a top quality player, but I think he's rated. Yeah, but Leighton Baines doesn't play. He plays like someone 10 years younger than he is. He's Dan underrated. He's been on the beers. Right, Leicester. And I've had to go for a right back called okay. Ricardo Pereira. Ooh, now, good a lot, shout. Yeah, a lot good of people shout. will say he's highly rated. Yeah. But I think a lot of the talk about Leicester is all Jamie Vardy, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, it's, it's all, all Madison. Mm. But this lad is simply one of the best players in the Premier League. I really League. agree with you. And modern day fullbacks are so important in the team. They've got to get up the pitch, they've got to get assists, they've got to get goals. But they also have to track back and defend. Yes. Look at Trent Alexander Arnold. Look what he does and offers to Liverpool. Ricardo Pereira is criminally underrated for the job he does for Leicester City. Yes. The man gets forward, gets in on the action, and I haven't even picked him. But I think that's a great shout. Yeah. The man I've gone with, and you mentioned it, Jamie Vardy and Madison get all the talk. Yes. What about Harvey Barnes? The yeah. guy's got six goals and six assists this season. Are we going to keep ignoring it? He's a quality player. Ricardo Pereira has got the most tackles in the Premier League this season with 118. Brilliant. The nearest player to that is Juan Bissaka. Liverpool. Yeah. Is anyone underrated at Liverpool? That's the first question. Yes. Jordan yes, Henderson. Absolutely. Go on, you go first. I here. mean, we both agree with him yes, already, yes. and it's a great point. I mean, the best thing to look at, the best example, is when he got injured and he was out the team. Yes. What happened? Liverpool started to crumble. Yes. The West Ham game came, they went a goal down from a 4 0 great shot. We all know what happened against Watford. They lost 3 0. It could have been 4 if you put that way, that 1 yeah, on 1. Yeah. It was ridiculous. Liverpool crumbled. When Jordan Henderson isn't that rock in the midfield, when they miss that lad, yeah. the, you know, the captain of the team, the one that really boosts everyone's confidence when things start to look a bit shaky, when he's not there, people start to mess up. Passionate, hardworking, yeah. loyal, a leader, a great passer of the ball, mm. great work off the ball. Jordan Henderson is the best captain in the world and he's wow. criminally, criminally yeah. underrated. Now moving on to Manchester City yeah. and it's the same dilemma. This has to be obvious, right? We have to agree on this. Go right? on, Theo, you go first. I'm going to say Fernandinho. Do you agree? Do you, I, you don't, I don't agree? Because wow. I rate him as one of the best players in the world. No, no, no. Okay, listen, Dad. Fernandinho is absolutely quality, right? Yeah, yeah. And doesn't actually, in my opinion, yes. get the respect he deserves. Right. He does a shift, right? He's a midfielder, and he does a shift half the season at centre-back for yes. Man City. Yes. When there's injuries, he covers that position. Yeah. So he can play in defence. Yeah. He can play in holding midfield role. He can play a central midfield role. Wherever's needed, he's there. And he's a leader. He tells players where to go, what to do. He boosts confidence. And he's always there for the big tackle when it's needed. He's underrated. It's Fernandinho. Very interesting. But I'm going with Riyad Mahrez. Now, I know he's a, a £61 million player. Is he rated? Is he not rated? Well, I think he's overlooked. I think he's overlooked. Interesting. But when he comes onto that field this season, he scores goals. He's got seven goals this season, ten assists yeah. in the Premier League, won 23 appearances. I think Manchester United is a very, very easy one. I know we're going to agree on Fred. Yes, we do. Really? Of course I agree on Fred. Excellent. Yeah, I, I, Excellent. Now, the guy received stick over the last few years. Yes. But this year, he's just proven all his haters wrong. And the man is underrated. And I didn't actually think I could say that about yeah. a United starter. Yeah. The man came in with a 50 million fee. And everyone was giving him stick because he had a few shockers. Now he's fit the squad, used to the tactics. And he plays a brilliant pivot role. Yeah. Connecting defence into attack for Man United. I do agree. He works very, very hard. Yes, it took him a year to get used to the pace of the Premiership. He fits in very well with Bruno. And I yeah. think he's essential to Ollie's game plan at Manchester United. Special mention to McSauce as well. Now, we've been talking for a long time, and we've only had one Thog Dad fact. Okay. Who do you think has got the most saves in the Premier League this season? Dubravka. And you'd be right. Whee! <laughs> with 117. 
Maybe it's because we're moving on to Newcastle we're now. Moving on to Newcastle. And I agree with you. If you have gone for De Bruyne as the yes. most underrated player, yes. oh my god, this guy is criminally underrated. Yes. How many times this season has he saved Newcastle Correct. at the big moment? Yeah. He's a shot stopper. He's a great goalkeeper. He's a leader. Absolutely. He's had nine clean sheets this season. Yeah. For Newcastle. And that's, exactly, look that, at the defence, you know, you know what I mean? Absolutely, that is the fifth best in the league. Now, admittedly, he makes a few errors. I think four errors have led to goals this season. But overall, the number of points that he saves for Newcastle oh, um, is, is very, very high. Moving on to Norwich. Who's yeah. underrated? Well, I've gone for the goalkeeper. Tim mm. Krul. He's made 96 saves this season for Norwich. I think it's the fourth most in the Premiership. Now, very difficult to be at the back of that Norwich defence, no offence. Yeah, yeah. But this fella is a proper plur. Well, fair play to him. He's made a bunch of saves and you can't argue with the facts, can you? But for me, Norwich, an underrated player in their team, and I know you will agree with me this because you have spoke of him before. Yes. Their winger, Argentinian lad, Buendia. Yes. Um, although he hasn't scored this season, which is a shame. Yeah. He's got seven assists. And people don't speak of him. Yes. And that is why he is so underrated. He's got good pace on him. He gets in good positions. He gets great crosses in. And Theo's right. His stats are very good uh, for sort of whipped in crosses. Yeah. I think he's top 10 or top 20 in the whole league. Moving on to Sheffield United, John Fleck. Okay. 28 year old Scotsman. He chips in with the occasional goal. He's got five goals this season nice. and a couple of assists. What an amazing season they've had. And for Sheffield United, it's not about one or two players, it's about the strength of the team, isn't yeah, it, Theo? Yeah, definitely. You could probably name every single player yeah. as underrated. But for me, the most underrated of them all is Chris Basham. An yeah. overlapping centre-back fits the system, and it's not just because he used to play for Bolton yeah. that I've put him in this list. He's genuinely quality. I'm going to stick with Scottish central midfielders. Yeah. Now we're moving on to Southampton, yeah. and I'm going with Stuart Armstrong. Interesting, all right. 27 years old, cost 7 million quid from Celtic two years ago. Yeah. An absolutely solid central midfielder. Fair enough, Dad. I do agree with your choice. Right. I think Stuart Armstrong is a player that deserves more respect, always yeah. working hard. But the man that I've gone for, and you guys probably know, it's quite an obvious choice, but he doesn't get enough respect, is Danny Ings. 15 goals a season, had a brilliant breakout year, yet because he's not Brazilian, 18 years old, called Julinho, he yeah. hasn't got the price tag and doesn't get the hype he deserves. Let's move on to Spurs. Yeah. And I'm going to stay in central midfield here. I'm going for Moussa Sissoko. Oh, Who that's... is a, a Frenchman who really runs that Spurs team. He, he is does. the engine room, isn't he? He Theo? does, you're right. And I agree with you, actually. I have also gone for Moussa Sissoko. And the best way to look at it, Dad, yeah. when he's not in the team, yes. when he's injured, you realise how much they miss the big French lad in the midfield. Yeah. What a brilliant player, like driving with the ball, going forward, defence to attack, and he's a fan favourite, he's a legend. Brilliant, now let's move on to Watford. I'm going for someone, and you might say, look, he's not underrated, we all know the name, is Myla Saar, mm, the right winger. Now, you saw him deliver, didn't you think? Oh, I saw him deliver, yeah, and that was a great goal, but you still got to remember that, they paid 27 million in the summer for him. Yes. For me, I couldn't put that type of player in an underrated video. Mm. So I've gone for Ben Foster, because yeah. he's a shot stopper, he's so underrated. Rated. And the man is actually a bit of a legend, like in the yeah. dressing room. Now moving on to West Ham. Has anyone really sort of stepped up to the plate for you, Theo? Well, it's difficult. West Ham have not had a good season. It's yes. as simple as that. I mean, I can't really say Declan Rice, can I? Because no, he's, he's rated. Got, he's, he's, he's rated and he's got a crazy price tag. I'm going to go for a man called Pablo Fornells. Yes. Now they signed him like in the summer and yeah, fair play, it was quite a bit of money, but he's actually produced the goods. He got yes. that goal against Liverpool. Um, he's always been there. He's a hard working player. He yeah. gets in the goal involvement. I agree, a 25 million pound price tag. He will get the occasional goal, the occasional assist, but I think he does a lot more than that. Yeah. And I think he's capable of bigger things. And finally, Wolverhampton Wanderers. Yes. A uh, tough one. I've gone for a centre back called Connor Cody. Ooh. I mean, he's the engine room of that team. Oh, yeah, brilliant. And he is underrated. I'll give you that. It's a very good choice. And one for I've gone with, and you know, last but not least, because this Wolves team is bloody stacked, uh, I've gone for Johnny, their left wing back in their yeah. team. I mean, he came from Atletico Madrid, and his price tag was, uh, you know, it was a bit, it was quite high. But the lad always gives it his all. He gets forward, he gets in on the crosses and gets some assists. He gets back, he gets stuck in. We're finished with all the clubs now, guys, but we're not ending it here. Me and Thogdad have come to an agreement that we're going to name one player 
that's the most underrated player in the Premier League of all the choices that we've listed. You go first. Okay, that's big. All right. <laughs> the most underrated player in the Premier League for me is Newcastle's goalkeeper, Martin Dubravka. Yeah. Now it's time to hear what you say. Right, the lad with the third most blocks in the Premiership, the third most clearances, Ben Mee of Ooh, Burnley. Okay, that's what we say. But we need to hear from the comment section, guys. Everyone go down there, list the most underrated player in the Premier League. What's the like target again, Thog Dad? The like target is 5,750. Wow, let's smash it. I don't think that was the one you put at the start, but <laughs> yeah, yeah. it doesn't matter. Who knows? Let's Who try knows? to hit both like targets. Yeah, Why yeah. not? Thank you for watching. Have a good rest of your weekend and see you all later. From me and Thog Dad, bye bye. Don't catch the virus and uh, have a good one. See you later. Bye.